Greetings! Welcome to the Mind of Brandon, and welcome back to another Sexy Saturday. Today I'm just going to be updating you all on where I'm at and my progress with this you know, pickup stuff I've been trying to do. This is a viewer requested video. Some people have been getting antsy for some more Sexy Saturday, wanting to hear what's going on with, with <laughs> me. Am I getting any better at pickup? Uh, the YouTube user Play It Already has requested that I start using a hidden mic when I'm, you know, going out doing my, my pickup sessions. Uh, I've, I've had one, you know, I've had a mic for a while that I theoretically uh, should have been able to use. Um, yeah, I got this as like a, a, a birthday present a, a few months back. And uh, I, I don't think it was actually the intention that I, I use it as a, a hidden mic. I think the intention was that uh, I would use it for the the videos I do here in my office, and I just uh, you know use this as my microphone instead of the the built-in mic on my webcam. But I haven't figured out how to do that yet. I don't I don't know how to make it so that it records audio with this mic instead of with uh, the the webcam. And uh, I haven't been able to get this to work on like my cell phone or my tablet, so. Yeah, so far it doesn't look like we're anywhere close to me getting, uh, <laughs> you know, hidden mic sessions out in the out in the pickup field. But if it makes you feel better, at the present time, it doesn't really seem like it's even worth it to record what's going on. Uh, my interactions with women tend to be pretty brief, you know, because I I go into you know, I, I go into it with like a a plan, which some pickup artists are going to be like, you know, don't do that. Don't have a plan. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how to do it like without a plan. Like the only way I have any clue what to fucking do at all is if I have some kind of plan. If I go into it without a plan, then it's just like we're standing there awkwardly, and I'm just like, okay, have a nice day. Don't get me wrong. Even when I have a plan, the girl quickly deviates from my plan, and I still find myself in a situation where I'm standing there going, I don't know what to fucking do. I tell her have a nice day and I walk away. So th these are brief fucking interactions. It's not worth recording. Now to recap, back when I first started, you know, trying out this pickup stuff, you know, going out, you know, approaching women, uh, it, there was very clear progress that was happening. It felt like the the teachings, you know, the the, the stuff that I'd been learning, my research was really paying off. Felt like all the practice I was doing was really paying off. Uh, you know, I was I was getting better at conversing with women, you know, I was getting more comfortable approaching them, I was getting more comfortable in conversation with them. Back in those days, it would have been worth recording that stuff. And then one day I got a girl's phone number for the first time and it just, you know, it seemed like, yeah, the progress is just going to keep coming. I'm going to start going on dates. I'm going to be getting laid finally. And that's not how it went. Instead, after getting that girl's phone number, all of a sudden, anytime I, you know, went out, you know, trying to, you know, find girls that I wanted to talk to, it was like there was a scarcity. I couldn't fucking find them anywhere. You know, it's just like, where are all the women I want to talk to, right? Where's all the hotties? And it was like that long enough that I got a little bit rusty. I reverted back to an earlier stage of development. So the next time I came across a girl I was actually interested in talking to, Instead of stopping and engaging her in an actual conversation, all I did is just kind of like greet her in passing, which of course is, you know, an earlier stage of development. And after that, there was a period of like months where, again, you know, the, the pickings were, were slim. I really wasn't coming across hotties all that often. And when I did, all I did is just greet them in passing. You know, I didn't stop and like have actual conversations with them. If, you know, I fucking sucked because I was like making all this like progress. I progressed to a point where I finally got a girl's phone number for the first fucking time and things were really looking up and then all of a sudden just nope. No, no, no more progress. Now the good news is that eventually the hotties started coming out in full force again and I started making more approaches. But basically, ever since then, I've noticed this pattern of like progress, regress, progress, regress. And it seems at least in part to have to do with seasonal changes, you know, because, you know, here in, here in Washington State, we got, you know, it's, it's pretty sunny during springtime and summer. Uh, the rest of the year, it tends to be pretty, uh, 
cloudy, rainy, <laughs> it's kind of kind of gross and depressing, basically. So what it comes down to is, well, when the sun comes out, that's when all the hotties come out. That's that's when it becomes easier to find someone that actually want to stop and say, hey, you are absolutely beautiful. But here's the thing. Just because I stop and tell a girl how beautiful she is doesn't mean that she's going to want to stop and talk to me. What I have found is that in situations where I'm walking that way and there's a hottie coming this way, if I stop and tell her how beautiful she is, the vast majority of the time she just keeps walking. You know, t typically she'll, you know, have a a real ecstatic thank you for me. You know, oh, thank you, right? You know, uh, but but she doesn't stop to talk. She just, you know, keeps going. So like I discussed in a previous video, I tried to find an effective strategy to get a woman that's walking to stop walking when I'm trying to talk to her. And what I found is that uh, if I just stop and like put my hand up in a way that communicates to the woman that I'd like her to stop, and I say, excuse me, <laughs> just excuse me, right? And then just wait for her to stop. The vast majority of the time, she will actually stop. You know, as long as, as she knows what's going on, she's not like too distracted by other things. And it's not like too crazy busy, all you know, people all over the place or whatever, right? Uh, the vast majority of the time, that strategy will actually get a woman to stop. But so far, I haven't been great at maintaining a conversation with a girl after successfully getting her to stop. And at this point, you know, I, I'm actually more comfortable stopping and telling a girl she's beautiful than I am stopping and saying, excuse me. So it occurred to me, maybe there's a way I can use that to my advantage, right? You know, if, if I'm more comfortable just stopping and telling a woman she's beautiful than I am stopping and saying, excuse me, you know, try and get her to stop. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe what I should try is instead of trying to get her to stop, uh, when she keeps walking, I kind of turn and go with her and just try to have a conversation with her as we walk. And this is fucking fascinating to me because once upon a time, I was more comfortable stopping and saying, excuse me, than I was turning and, and, and walking with her. That's why I was so obsessed with finding a way to get a woman to stop walking. But now it's at a point where trying to get a woman to stop walking is kind of nerve-wracking. I'd rather just turn around and go with her. It's, it's interesting to see these different, these different phases, these different stages of, of development as I you know, progress in this, this pickup stuff because this, this happens. Like there's just sometimes I'll, I'll like try something that I'm, I'm more comfortable doing than some other thing and then later decide I'm not comfortable doing that anymore. So I decide to try out this other thing that I was avoiding to do, and I find that I'm more comfortable doing that instead of this other thing that I was previously more comfortable with. So I guess you could say that I'm at a point in my development where I'm more comfortable taking a direct approach than I am with kind of like beating around the bush like a fucking beginner. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was roughly uh, a month ago that, uh, for the first time, uh, after stopping and telling a girl how absolutely beautiful she was, and she kept walking, I turned around to go with her, and uh, you know, I said, "Well, where are you headed?" Right? That that was that was the plan, right? Is, you know, I asked I asked the girl, uh, "Where where are you headed?" And you know, she tells me where she's going. You know, so the plan is, "Oh, you know, I'll just you know, I'll, I know where that place is, so I can." walk there too, you know, knowing where we are going as I talk to her, okay? Uh, but it didn't go completely according to the plan because when I asked her where she was going, she said, the store. We're in a fucking mall. There's stores all over the place. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> but that's not how I responded. You know, when she says the store, I, I was just, you know, didn't, didn't know what to fucking do because it wasn't part of my plan that she'd just be fucking vague like that, the store, not giving me a specific place that we're going, right? So I I was just like, all right, have a nice day. <laughs> but but anyway, uh, it wasn't, wasn't long after that, I came across this this other girl, super smoking hot pain, right? <laughs> just, you know, I, I stopped, I'm just like, you are absolutely beautiful, you know, she's, oh, thank you, right? And 
Uh, you know, she she keeps walking. You know, she she looked like she was kind of like, should I should I stop? Should I stop and talk to this guy? But you know, she she kept walking, and you know, I I turned to go with her, and I was like, oh, where are you headed? She's like, oh, my my brother over there. I didn't I didn't look where she was pointing, but you know, I thought, oh, brother, she, she's there with her family. Awkward, right? So I was just like, have a nice day. In retrospect, I wish I'd just been like, oh, family day. Oh, I'll just get your number or something. What's your name, right? But yeah, it's a little too late. Right. Lesson learned for, for the next time that happens. But there was this other girl recently, you know, I, I stop and tell her how absolutely beautiful she is. She ecstatically thanks me, but she doesn't keep walking. She actually stops. And uh, she, she asks me if I know where the, the closest bathroom is. And, you know, this, this, of course, was completely not according to plan. So I was just like, uh, oh bathroom, you know, which, you know, I know the place, I know where the, all the fucking bathrooms are, but we just happen to be standing in a spot where it's not really easy to describe where the bathrooms are, you know, so it's just like, well, you know, you, you, go, you go down here, and then you, you go up, up that thing there, and you, you turn there, and the bathroom will be at the end, you know, and you know, I was just like, uh, well, you know, maybe I'll just take you to it, right? And then she's like, oh, actually, I think there's one over there. I, I, yeah, I'll just go to that one over there. Thank you, right? Uh, and it, it, it occurs to me after we, we parted ways, wait, there's no fucking bathroom over there. It's just going to go over there and get fucking lost. <laughs> Suffice it to say, despite all the times I regressed after making some progress, it does seem that there is some overall progress that has been made. And you know, I got a real positive attitude about you know where I can go from here going into summer, which is coming up, it's going to be smoking hot babes all over the place. There's not, there's not much time that I'm going to be spending at work this summer. I'm, I'm typically going to be scheduled either like two or three days a week. Uh, I don't know. Maybe someone will like request a vacation. I'll have to work like four or five days. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. But uh, so far, it looks like I'm only going to be working like two or three days a week. So that should be plenty of time for me to get out and go meet some fucking hotties. And one of the things I've been doing lately is finding new malls to try out, right? New new places to meet ladies. I, I think that's enough updates for now. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with other people. If you're interested in watching my future videos, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next one. So have a good one, guys, and peace.